<coughs> Welcome to O'Shift Show. We are back for another episode. I love what we're talking about this week. Uh, it is a, uh, an area of personal excitement and also personal self-loathing. Uh, it is how to brand and network without, without being, being a, a wanker. wanker. Hopefully, former wankers, we can give you some good advice. It's been said. It's been it's, said. It's been said. It's been said. I'm through it now. But the funny thing is, I actually hate networking. Or well, at least because I did so much of it as a kid. <laughs> right? It's one well, of those. I, you know, you're a young entrepreneur when you're like, I did a lot of networking as a child when I was four. Yeah. <laughs> All the children at <laughs> the playground. <laughs> yeah, speed networking at nine years old. Brilliant. Well, I know what you mean, though. You, it's like, I think as an entrepreneur, you get forced to. Um, you know, you're networking with p people you want to hire, you're networking with potential investors, you're networking with potential clients, and you're always on the go. But there's also networking for the sake of networking, which is, I hate, but you have to yeah, do. Yeah. You have to do it at the some, beginning of any venture. some people love it. But some yeah. people live by it. And so I think, but it goes wrong. And now I feel like I'm in a position where, yes, obviously there, there are people that I need to do business with. There are a lot of people trying to do business with, with my businesses. And man, man, it's some, it's some awkward awkward networking that happens out there. So let's, let's start, what's what what's so, what's some good areas? Wait, okay, when you're, when you're out there and you're trying to do business development, you're networking, I mean, I don't think anyone does anything without LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn is now the kind of go-to place for people to network. I mean, I I don't post a lot of content into LinkedIn. Some people are really good at it. It's just another social um, me, but, but a business focus. I, I basically use LinkedIn to kind of, if I'm trying to look for somebody, yeah. I'll go onto LinkedIn, I'll find my shared contacts, and I'll see who I know there, and then I'll use it for but that. There, but there are some big LinkedIn no-nos. I, I would say one that, you know, really bothers me. I, I loathe this. I hate when you see someone self-describe themselves as a guru or some synonym for a guru. Have you I better talking? change my title. Yeah, digital, digital Yeah, no, guru. I'm just like guru, yeah, guru, guru. 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 Uh, kidding, I, kidding. I, yeah, I, I, I think that find that very off-putting. Especially, and by the way, when I see that, I've, maybe they like it because it gets clicks. But most of the time, it's because I click on it just to be like. When does this person think I've seen I've seen like, worse uh, though. I've seen worse. What's, what's worse. I I had somebody email me that that he was the golden ticket, <laughs> which I was like, hmm, yeah. hmm, not 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 that believable. Yeah. Um, and, and I think there's a lot of automated messaging happening right now, um, and so much of that is is my fault yeah <laughs> but i think there's i mean i think there's all the, some look i understand that some things about messaging and scale and maybe there are people with experience but if you're going to message at scale and use automation tools which i'm not saying are totally wrong you need to be able to do it right and you need to take the time to proof you need to not have spelling errors if you're doing dynamic insertions of things you know keep things at a broad level make sure you're building good lists because when things aren't relevant it's really awkward um, and actually, I'll tell you some really, in my opinion, really, really good advice. Whether you're reaching out to someone on LinkedIn or you're reaching out to someone on email, keep it short. Really yeah. busy people do not want to read your essay. Uh, the that whole, you've yeah, down. that's, that's a very good point. And you get those emails which are, you know, almost akin to begging emails where it's like, this or is just, my just so much entire company. Like, I'm, not, I'm not going to do that. I think, you know, you've got, I, I think if you don't actually, in my opinion, I think attention spans are so short now that if you don't hook someone in the first sentence from most really senior folks, you lose them. So do you actually read your LinkedIn emails? I know this is bad, but I have like a mental illness. I'm, I'm, uh, I I'm, know, uh, but uh, do you read your, yes, your, your do. LinkedIn emails? I, I'm, a, I'm an inbox zero person and I apply that to basically every aspect of my life. So I do scan through them, but I scan through them really, really fast, and I basically read maybe one or two lines, and or if I get a sense that it's some, you know, random, you know, dev offshore dev shop, I'm probably just skipping it. Which frankly, is like every other every one, Every other right? one, basically. But I'm an inbox zero person. Yeah. I hate those, you know, I don't having like the that red counts. I'm red counts, yeah. but I just can't do it on LinkedIn. It's yeah. too much. Yeah, it, 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 you have to have a good, a good filter for it. Networking. Uh, and trying to build relationships with, with you know, high value people. And high value people means something different to everyone. I'm talking about someone that you believe is important to, could be for personal reasons or 
for you know to help you develop your business, which this is well, yeah. a business show. So I, it's okay I mean, to talk about. I, I think for me, there's there's two types of networking. One is that it's uh, you know many many contacts with very 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 weak links, and the other is very few contacts with very very strong links. And I've always been a believer in building strong, deep connections with people that I really respect and appreciate. Uh, I mean, of course, you're an exception. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, uh, you know, I, I've always believed that putting time and effort and, and really building those relationships is more important than having, you know, thousands of very weak relationships because when I pick up the phone or I introduce people, they know I've actually thought about it and, and they actually take the intro seriously. Whereas I think if you do a lot of shallow networking, you know, the, the bonds you're creating are not as strong. I feel, I feel like when I was younger, I'd go to these big networking events. Like, so I went to like Ken Lines, I went for 10 straight years, I went to um, uh, CS for many years, I went to South by Southwest for 10 straight years, and I would go out and have these big nights, I'd get home and I'd kind of smack this you know, big mountain of cores down on the table and I'd be like, I nailed it, and, and yeah, there would be cre opportunities created out of that. But do I think to your point, they were they were very shallow, and I um, I'm kind of a self-loathing you know networker in this in similar to you. Now I find that um, I get a I get a lot more value out of trying to say you know what I I, I, I want to find uh, when I go to those events I find two or three people that I connect with. Frankly, I also don't do business with people I don't like anymore. Yeah, it's just I just don't which is the privilege of. Working yeah. as hard as yeah, I, guess, I think yeah, you I have, that. You know, and, like, uh, and I and I, you know, and I yeah, exactly. And I, I mean, I mean, it's not always available to everyone, but I've, 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 I try really hard. I, in fairness, I have found that if you do say no to the people that you don't want to work with, you actually create more opportunity for yourself, yeah. and they and they are a distraction for doing good business, and it, it deflates you, and it, and it doesn't make you as effective. But anyway. Um, you know, I, I, I'd seek out people that I, I, I connect with on some meaningful level, and I, and you know, and you don't want to you don't want to scare the bunny or scare the fish. I might find that if I'm at you know something like South by, that I might find someone I really like, and I'll back away a little bit because I don't want to like latch onto them and be a creep, you know, be yeah. a wanker. And I might go talk to someone else, but if they're still around. I'd like them. I might go to have another chat with them and see if I still connect with them, and then. And then I like to invite people out, out to dinner. And, and I find that, um, and I don't, you know, sometimes I do dinners where I have seven or eight people from all walks of life that I like connecting. And that actually is a really good way to build your brand and network uh, by actually giving your connections to other people yeah. and, be in it, and you get stronger by association. And then sometimes I'd like to just sit down with someone and say, why don't you and, you and I just go have dinner? Um, and actually it reminds me even the first time you and I really you know, start, started hanging out and having dinner. And actually one of the things I do, and I think this is good advice to give to people, um, when the, you know, at some point I feel, like, especially it's a business relationship, someone comes out and they sit down and they start talking about business. And I always say, you know what? Let's, let's not talk about business. I mean, if you have something you want to get out, great, 10, 15 minutes, but I'd really like to not talk about business. I'll come by your office again tomorrow. We can hop on the phone or whatever yeah. it is. Let's just let's just talk. Well, it's about and, at the yeah. end of the day, it's about building a relationship. That's what you're trying to do when you're networking. And even though I spend you know four months of the year completely sober, uh, you know some of the best business relationships and the longest lasting have been getting drunk with the people, having fun until four a.m. in the morning, and that's created business bonds that have lasted my entire life. Mm -hmm. So, you know there is you know as much as as business is about business, it is a social construct. Mm. It is it is about people, and people want to be around people they enjoy. Mm. Um, again, I'm making an exception for you, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tell you, you know, uh, the bar thing is, I guess, an interesting reference. Um, one of the one of the things, so uh, you and I may may be notable, uh, noticeable from you know watching a ship that. We're a little eccentric, we've got big personalities, we like we work hard but we like to have a good time. And I definitely feel like there have been parts of my career where um, you know, I've got a bit of a wild streak and I would go out there and I would go big and I loved having those big nights with folks. Um, and I think some other good advice for people to really uh, watch out for is if you have a personality type similar to us, and you think you see yourself as kind of a, a great, a great networker, or, which again I think maybe it should be aspirational to not see yourself as an intentional one. But you know, find that balance of being there's there's a fun version of you, 
and then there's a too fun version of you. And you may think that too fun version of you people really love, but actually it's, um, uh, it, 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 that reputation can start to precede you. Yeah. And and and, uh, and um, there's some great advice my father gave to me once that I, I always remember. Um, he said to me, uh, "Son, he goes, your reputation is the only thing that no one can ever take away from you." He's like, "You can give your reputation away. Am I doing the wrong thing and messing things up?" But he's like, "No one else can take it away from you if you don't if you don't let them." And uh, and so being really uh, cognizant of that and conscious of protecting your reputation and finding that balance of don't be a wanker. Don't be a wanker. <laughs> don't be a wanker. I think that's it for this week's show ship. I, as I don't know, you know, I don't want to drag on too long today, uh, but I really enjoyed that subject. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, so check us out at oshipshow.com, facebook.com uh, forward slash oshipshow, instagram.com forward slash oshipshow, uh, twitter.com oshipshow. Follow us, tell your friends, share this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and we look forward to chatting with you on next week's episode. See you next week.